So I found some footage from my trip to the EMP museum. It's like this pop culture museum, mostly a movie prop museum, because I mean, that that's pop culture. But apparently this footage has been sitting on my computer for like two years. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do something with it. All right, so this is the police spinner from Blade Runner. Here's a guitar tornado. Okay, so when I filmed this, I didn't really get the significance because I hadn't seen Game of Thrones yet, but uh, now I get it. Gimli's axe. They've completely redone the Star Trek exhibit since I've been here. I think they've got it like set up as a bridge layout and they've added to the collection. You should really check it out if you're on the West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, then you should check out Ticonderoga, New York, where uh, Jim Cauley has built a perfect recreation of the Star Trek bridge. Well, pretty much the whole movie set. But yeah, this is what it looked like at the time. I think that's the actual chair because i mean it's it's um it's worn down quite a bit okay so vader saber actually got lost in between new hope and empire they took a spare flash handle and just redid it like a vader saber and you can see on the end there that it's just a graflex that's painted black you should really check out the museum because i know they've added more star wars props because bill duran over at punish props was nice enough to send me some reference photos of luke's saber back when i made my own lightsaber and i feel like if it was there when I was there, I would have seen it. But yeah, they've done a lot with this museum. You gotta check it out. All right, don't know what this is. Why don't I check the in-cam audio? Ellen Ripley's gun from Alien, right here, when she shoots the alien. Oh, that's uh, that's Ronan Dex's um, blaster from uh, Stargate Atlantis. Anybody ever watch that? And Corbin Dallas's gun. Sweet. Think that's the noisy? No, it's not the noisy cricket. I don't. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of Men in Blackish. You know what? If anybody knows what this stuff is, write it in comments. Oh, it's the, the dude from Stargate. Anybody ever see that? Uh, cut scene from that film where we find out that you can actually go through the Stargate. When it's buried, it's just you get reintegrated into the ground. So that guy got immediately fossilized. Hicks! It's Hicks! Oh my god. Why did I not do anything with this footage? And a Nakwada reactor. Th that's another thing that I wanted to build. It's just I'll get there eventually. I think this is from the episode where they were trying to cover up the Stargate by slowly leaking some of the information. Or maybe that was the blaster that Teal'c took off of the, the spaceship and used to destroy that other spaceship. I don't even remember. It's been a while since I've seen that show. And there's a bat lift. You can tell it's screen news because it's blunted. And apparently it was too much for past Jake to actually read the inscriptions. That's from Plan 9. I've seen Plan 9, but only as the uh, MST3K version. So I don't know if that counts. And I'm I'm just, I'm not going to watch it for real. I can't. I'm not sober anyway. Oh, and the Daleks lost one of his, um, uh, one of his little bubbles. It's the Schwarzenegger. Is, is he, is he cross-eyed? It looks kind of cross-eyed. Okay, so this spaceship's from 2001, which is a movie that originally I hated, and then it slowly grew on me, and now I think it's one of the most amazing movies of all time. But yeah, after they finished making this movie, Kubrick had the spaceship destroyed because he didn't want it to appear in a lesser sci-fi movie. It's kind of a d move to the creator, but it is a legitimate fear because uh, the spaceships from that Save the Trees movie, uh, Silent Running, ended up in Battlestar Galactica. I can see how the director or the writer of the film would feel bad about that. But if I was that model maker, I'd be thrilled that the ship keeps getting used. This is clearly a recreation, but damn, it's a good one. Oh, hey, and if the Star Wars fans are still watching, that pod in there in the open pod bay, that's in Phantom Menace in um, the, the junkyard on Tatooine. The, that pod is in the background in one of the wide shots, which I think is amazing. I have no idea what this is. If I had to guess, it's from that episode of DS9 where the guy builds a, a where the guy, where Captain Sisko built the space sailboat. It's a good episode. Okay, so this is like the horror movie section of the museum. So I'm sorry about the strobing lights right now. I think that they had like a the terror effect going on. All right, so can you see why I haven't built a xenomorph suit yet? It would take for freaking ever. Still want to do it. I don't know why this axe is important or why I'm lingering on it. Why is my camera not focusing? It's probably because of the lights. Ah, you got red on you. That's amazing. All right, now here's where we're back to the pop culture aspect of the museum. It's kind of a mix between a movie and a rock and roll museum. It's a Macklemore stuff, some okay go stuff and this is proof that i'm in seattle right now from the weather so yeah that's it oh and there's a cheese vat i don't know why i filmed this because it's kind of it's kind of freaking me out actually really freaking me out okay i'm gonna cut oh man so that was the emp museum circa 2015 okay thanks for watching let me know what your favorite movie prop is from the video and or just you know what your favorite prop is in general in comments below uh here's some of my other stuff and yeah jake out